Hello, I'm gonna be a I'm the next let's try find them Hexer mode. Let's continue with the story. Ninian is dead. Now only Nurgle's echoing laughter remains. On Hector's advice, the group heads towards Ostia. They are weary to the bone, and they need time to regroup. Ostia is the most heavily guarded fortress city in all of Lycia. No enemy should have been able to breach its walls. Number 31, Sands of Time. Lord Hector, we're pleased to see you home, alive and well. Where's my brother? Ah, uh, he departed yesterday for a conference in Etruria. He's scheduled to return in a half month's time. Etruria? It's a pity. No prayer room is for my companions. They need rest. Yes, my lord. My brother is away. Osmond, did you know about this? Uh, yes, I was aware of his trip. Why do you choose to go to, go to Etruria now? I don't get it. It's not like him. Greybeard, you know something, don't you? Tell me, what are we supposed to do now? A moment, lad. Yes, I suppose you've a right to know. I first met Nurgle some 500 years ago, wandering the Nevada wasteland. Like me, he has only drive with the search for truth in this world. We were equals in power and knowledge, and we became fast friends. We believed we could solve the mysteries of the world. We truly believed. So what happened? A disagreement, made at the height of our quest. One day, as I charted the mysteries of Nevada, I came across the most amazing village. It was unbelievable, but in that place humans and dragons lived together in cooperation. Dragons and humans? Are you, they, are you telling me they could live together in peace? At first, I don't know what my eyes showed me. But yes, the village truly did exist. That, that's amazing. The dragons that I beheld there, they were both similar to, to and different from the dragons I had fought hundreds of years before. Ah, Elliwood, are you? Please, go on. As you wish. <clears throat> I love this song, by the way. They refused to fight humans in the war, and instead, they retreated to this wasteland. They saw nothing but to remain hidden from the outside. Originally, they crafted a barrier, and created an oasis for them. Upon their invitation, we lived with, uh, with them. Our life there, it was calm and satisfying. At some point, the village became known as Arcadia, a place of perfect peace for travelers gone astray. Arcadia. The Dragon's Libraries were a dream come true to us. We studied their language and history with unbridled passion. A century, then two. Time passed in an eyes blink. And yet, slowly our thoughts turned down different paths. In what way? I wanted to share the Dragon's wisdom with others. My hope was for our earthy prayers to spread outward. And Nurgle? Ah, Nurgle. He took the Dragon's knowledge. He learned the art of stealing the essence from living creatures and turning it into power. It was terrible. When we discovered what he was doing, the elders and I tried to persuade him to stop, but the power bewitched him and he was deaf to our pleas. He started with small creatures and grew ever more confident. Then we began turning the quintessence of humans. The villagers and I joined forces and defeated him. Or so we thought, but after he was banished from Arcadia, Nurgle fled to Burn. He increased his power slowly to avoid our eye. Using quests he made his puppets, the Morphs. They're bewitching in form with intellects beyond human. I'm sure you've laid eyes on them yourselves. Jet black hair, pale complexion, and blood red lips. The most striking features are their glittering gold eyes. Attack! We're under attack! What? Lord Hector, it's bad. Not no group has breached the castle walls. How did they get in the castle without anyone noticing them? Th they just appeared out of nowhere. The attack was so sudden, the castle guards were annihilated. Castle Ostia is famed far and wide as being impregnable. If it's been breached so easily, can we save it? It's Nurgle. His magic created an entrance for his thugs within the castle. 
blast that hurt. No matter what, the throne must be protected. This, I'll not let the castle fall. My brother's away. Hold on, Hector. I'm going with you. Josiah, we need you. We need a plan. If you can hold them back for a while, reinforcements will come. Alright, so I'll see you guys after I picked my units. Alright, so every units, bring along Dorcas, Florina, Hector, Hollywood, Lynn, Lucius, Erk, Matthew, and then down over here, four random units, Heath, Sarah, Oswin, and Lowen. So let's save, and jump time, and fight. Plus six, why not? No, oh, yeah, Ossian guards. This is a message from Lord Nergel. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message from Lord Nergel. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message to all the soldiers. Take your pose and don't move. Hold your positions. All we can do is hold on until reinforcements arrive. Elliwood, what? Don't overexert yourself. I'm fine. I'm not that weak. Why are you so up there? An idiot. You, you one of Lord Hector's guests, aren't you? You shouldn't be out here. It's too dangerous. Go and hide in that room. Do you understand? Okay, that explains it. You can't bring him along. I was trying to bring him just for the use of just playing so just playing so we can move again, but it wouldn't let me. That explains why. But like you're a kid, you can't fight her, but her. Uh, except he can. Cause he's awesome. Okay. He literally said to protect the throne, so sit there, but let us enjoy it. Enjoy your post. There's honestly not that much going on in this chapter. It's pretty straightforward. You're protecting the throne. So, Prince just sit back and protect the throne. There's not much more you can say. <laughs> um, you have two groups, as you can plainly see. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why there's one in two groups, but they are. So, have fun with that. Find a way to make it work. I just like putting people in random spots and hoping they don't die. Sounds like a good idea, right? Right. Uh, do you have anything ranged? No, you don't. I do you have anything ranged? You have the Iron Room, which stops crits, correct? Yep. I have not played in a little while, so... Forgive me if I'm making stupid mistakes. I've been playing a lot of Radiant Dawn recently. Because that game was awesome. This is a message from Lord Nergel. I await you in the Dread Isle. <coughs> Good for you! You cannot hurt Oswin. He is Oswin. As I was saying, I've been playing a lot of Radiant Dawn lately. Like, a lot, a lot. I beat the game like two separate times. Aw, sadness. I'm not gonna call your crits, because you suck. You're an enemy. Yeah, like half the enemy has poison weapons. Watch out for that. Yeah. So I've beaten Radiant Dawn like two times in the last couple days. Which is kind of impressive considering the game's like very long. Like a 30 40 hour game. At least I don't want to attempt the impossible. I'm actually attempting to speedrun Fire Emblem Red Anton on hard mode. Which is the stupidest thing you can possibly do. That game is stupidly complicated on hard mode just to begin with. And I want to speedrun it. I don't know why, I just do. It's you know, something entertaining. I have nothing much else to do, so I may as well. So, um, yeah, if any of you out there want to suggest any plans for me for beating chapters quickly, anything like that, let me know. All I know, I'm working the first chapter right now, the prologue in part one. That's really just getting lucky with crits and not getting hit. Like, yeah. I'm not going to explain exactly what I'm doing, but it takes a lot of luck manipulation. Like, a stupid high amount. As in, like, it'll be a while before I beat this freaking first chapter. I will probably be recording it, assuming I can ever get to the point of actually beating it. I'll be getting stuff today so I can actually, like, record better for my TV. So I can see all my laptop and on the screen at the same time, which I kind of want. Because it's much more useful that way. So I'll be doing that, and then I, will, I might just upload whenever I beat a chapter or something. I don't know. Because sprinting through some be hard. And critical and overkill! Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, Fire Emblem. I love Radiant Dawn. It's probably one of my favorite Fire Emblems. Level up! Yay! My HP speed rest. Speed's good. 
<laughs> yeah, speed's gonna be like a key factor in the speed run, because otherwise everyone's gonna die in one hit. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh gosh. Shoot me now! Why am I insane? I don't know. Yeah, if you want to get a general idea of what I'm going to be trying to do, um, go to the speed demos archive and search for the normal roads, normal mode speed run there. The guy beats the game in like three hours and like 18 minutes. I want to get at least under eight hours. If I can get that, I'll be happy. Like, it's gonna be stupidly hard, but I'm doing it anyway. Yay! You're targeting Sarah. You cannot silence her. Yay. <laughs> Just suddenly quiet. That's random. Yeah, you're targeting Heath. Why are you targeting Heath? You think that would hit because he has like no resistance. But nope! You missed. I don't want to bring on some antitoxins and stuff because there's, there's kind of people with poison weapons all over the place. Like literally everywhere. Uh, sure, you fight him. That's a good idea. Because you won't die automatically. Like. Why would you target him? Whatever. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go back to used to not moving in after I attack, because that tends to be very useful. But I can't do that in this game! Woohoo! Yeah, because I recorded like 11 episodes in one sitting last time, just because I really wanted to just keep playing. And now uh, there's only like 3 or 4 chapters left. We're getting near the end here, guys. There's not much left. Run faster, Jafar! Killing Edge? Killing Edge! Aw, oh, you missed with an 85? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, good. wow. Whatever. I'm not expecting you to do much damage. Um. Da, 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 da. I'm Dorcas. Now you're dead. Uh, poison weapons, really? And this, like, half the people on this map have poison weapons, it's really stupid. HP, luck, defense, sweet. Hollywood, go kill someone. You. Please don't hit me, I don't like being poisoned. Of course you hit me, of course. Why wouldn't you? It's more fun that way, obviously. Because being poisoned is obviously so much fun. HP, strength, skill, defense. Yay, stats that I want. You are too close, so you die. Mr. Ivan Nosferatu. I'd love it if you don't hit. Good. Because Nosferatu heals up whatever damage you do. So, yeah, if he hit, he would have healed up like also all the damage I already did to him. Which would have made it completely useful. You mean useless. HP is like, yeah, him healing all the damage is definitely useful. What world? <laughs> um, let's see. Why not? Sending Urgen. Critical overkill! Gosh, Urg, you and your crits. Sending this is down. Yeah, this is gonna go easily. Goodbye! Critical it overkill! Well, then that works. Da, 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 da. Level up. To level 12. Woohoo! Skill defense as a stat! Lucius can't get it. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? You. And the goal is here is to protect the throne, so feel free to kill the boss all you want. Because that's gonna end well. Um, Roswin, I wish you the best of luck. Have fun. Kill you. Because why not? Well, 10. Speed, defense. Good. Because you obviously need more defense. Because the boss already can't hurt you. So he can feel worse about himself. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I better spot a couple of Heath, but whatever. Da -da. Ow, my face. Can't even hurt me. Da -da 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 -da. 
You're gonna like murder me, aren't you? Eh, at least slightly. You will not likely be hitting me, because if you do, I'll be sad. Because a 15 shouldn't be hitting you. Like, almost ever. Unless you're speedrunning, then you need it to hit! Ah, uh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, I need a 3% crit to land in the first chapter. Like, it doesn't land, I can't speedrun the chapter. That That's like what I need to do. It's stupid. I'll do it anyway, but it's still stupid. I'm gonna complain about it the entire time. Oh god, the end will be insane. Actually, the end will actually be easier. Because by then I'll have tons of power, stupidly powerful units. And I'll just kill everything in one hit. It'll be amazing. Killing Edge, woohoo! Speaking of killing in one hit... Um... You, why not? Because Florida needs the experience, can't you tell? She is so behind the levels, it's insane. Like, if I don't give her any levels, she will lose. It'll suck. Oh wait, she's level capped. And now it hasn't moved. You've all moved. Oh, Melinus. Herp derp, I'm Melinus, I'm special. You're annoying. Oh well, it's not me, so I don't care. Sadness. Uh, no. <coughs> Divine. Dead. Who's next? Who's just gonna sit here all day and take all of you? And not care. Why do you even bother? Like, really, I don't know why the enemy even tried. Like, at this point, there's no way they can win. Unless they get, like, stupid lucky or something. Even that critical overkill! Well then. Spoon your little hand, I was gonna chuck it at his face. This sounds like it'd be very painful. I'm glad I'm never attacking you, Oswald. Da -da. I'm so glad you're on my side. Ah, uh, you live with one HP, and then I hit you again. Because you have low speed. Because you're a general. You don't get speed. It's not permitted. Duh. Oh, so you're gonna have a fun time out here, I can tell. LOL, no damage. Except now I'm POISONED! Which does do damage to me, believe it or not. Da, 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 da. There are so many enemies. Like, why are there so many of you? Critical it OVERKILL! Well then. Da, da. Da, da, da. And you are about to be dead. Goodbye. It's nice knowing you. Da. I'm glad I'm not you. Da, 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 da. Sadly, I don't have any ranged weapons, so he needs to, like, take them on one at a time. I mean, he's gonna one-shot him, but still. It'll be slightly annoying. Yay, archers! Come shoot Urk, I dare you! Let me know how it turns out. It probably won't be very good for you. Just guessing. Critical it! OVERKILL! Urk doesn't like archers, apparently. Because he keeps critting them, when he doesn't need to. I have a long bow. I'm gonna do so much damage to you. No, you're not. You don't do damage to me with long bows. Silver bow! It actually hurts! What do you know? So let's do damage to Urk. Critical hit? OVERKILL! Wow. All three archers that Urk has attacked, he has critted on the second attack. Which makes it kind of useless, but I still find it funny. HP magic skill. Yay, magic. Da, da, da. Where are you going? What's the point of the thief going to the right? There's a door to open, that's it. There's nothing behind the door. What's the point of it? I don't care, so we don't have to worry about him. <coughs>